at the top end of the racetrack. Well, you talked about the drama, all the whole shot victories last weekend in Epping, and here we are with the second pair down the track. And this man, a hired gun with a 48 reaction time, 048. How special is it when you get one like that and you still run in the 70s? Yeah, every uh, every dog has its day. You know, we had a little bit of, of luck when we won in, in Bristol, and we've really struggled since uh, going to Epping, lost first round, and struggling qualifying there. And uh, we didn't even make a full run down track here in, in Chicago. And uh, dropping holes, that, that's been our problem. And I know, you know, Alan and Brian and all the Alan Obby guys, man, they've been busting their butts, and they, they worked really hard last night. And... Uh, you know, just we changed a lot of stuff in the car coming into today, and we re really weren't sure what the problem was, but we knew it. it we kind of tried to narrow it down as best we could, and uh, they changed a lot of stuff, and we took a chance, and luckily it, it uh, paid off. And you know, hats off to Alan Avi guys, everyone in Qatar and Toyota Redline Oil were going rounds, but uh, finally got a race car back. Get it out of the park. Now the number one qualifier is up next, Doug Coletta taking on Pat Dakin. Plenty of ways you can join the conversation via social media, and we always encourage that. Not going back, ask the question. It's a difficult, Mike, to tune for 70% humidity after last week in New Hampshire. And you heard Sean Langner talk about dropping cylinders. That's one of the reasons. The actual part changes. Normally, the raise of compression, spin the supercharger a little bit faster to try to burn that fuel. Dougie, 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 too much of that. As he goes 380 with a five. The first time Pat Dakin raced a member of the Coletta family, 1979 in Columbus. Connie won that day. Today, it's his nephew, Doug. You got questions, we got answers. Hit us up at our Twitter handles. Use the hashtag Route66Nationals or hashtag NHRA Live. If you're lucky enough, we'll answer your question throughout the day today. So we're going to step away, but when we come back, we'll be Antron Brown and Billy Torrance and Top Fuel. And welcome back to the O'Reilly Auto Parts Route 66 Nationals. Up at the line now, it's Antron Brown versus Billy Torrance. Antron, not the only member of his family doing some racing this weekend. His son Anson also competing in the Midwest Junior National Ranks. He actually won yesterday, but that was with the help of his clutch assistant, Matt Zachman's parents, running the car for him this weekend. Full team effort for the Anson. Yeah. He's got some talented kids. Well, it comes from his genes. He's a pretty talented athlete in his own right. Antron up against Billy Torrance. The pride of the Torrance family now rests in Steve's father's lap. Boy, and sometimes drag racing can be cruel. The Torrance family 0 for 2 in round 1 as Antron moves on. 3.803 seconds on the elapsed timer. 